At the Army 2024 Forum, the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, is demonstrating for the first time a full-scale model of a fundamentally new unmanned transport system for off-air field operations, featuring the S-76 Vertical Takeoff and Landing VTOL, aircraft. The exhibit includes a fully operational flight model, which has already completed the first stage of flight experiments, testing vertical takeoff, hovering, and landing modes. The Sukhoi Design Bureau, part of UAC, is developing the VTOL unmanned aerial vehicle. The project became a reality thanks to the Vector program and initial funding through the Rostec Business Accelerator. Vladimir Archikov, Deputy General Director of Rostec State Corporation, said, The unmanned platform from UAC will be able to deliver cargo weighing up to 300 kilograms over distances of up to 500 kilometers, providing new logistical opportunities, particularly in hard-to-reach areas. The vehicle does not require specially prepared sites or airfield infrastructure, making it a convenient, fast, and efficient mode of transport. The project is aimed at both government and private entities in the transportation services market. The drone will be able to perform logistical, research, and other tasks of varying complexity in different regions of Russia, including the most inaccessible locations. UAC head Yuri Slyusar during the project presentation said, the development of a product line of civilian and dual-purpose unmanned aerial vehicles is an absolutely logical and natural process for UAC. The tradition of the Sukhoi Design Bureau is to solve critical national tasks aligned with national goals and priorities by employing the most unexpected yet effective technical solutions. The S-76 aircraft combines the advantages of both a multi-copter and an airplane. The S-76 project will enable the deployment of automated unmanned transport systems in Russia. These systems will make air cargo transportation more cost-effective and require minimal human involvement. Takeoff, route flight, and landing will be carried out fully automatically without direct operator involvement. Currently, the BTS-VA project is testing key technologies and basic technical solutions. Now, do you think Russia has started doing well on UAV front? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content.